Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be testing out another new foundation. We're gonna be doing a full day wear test, first impressions, and a review. So I have here Fenty's brand new Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. I am super excited about this because I actually really love their Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. It is one of my holy grails. It works really well with my combo skin, but I know a lot of people with dry skin do not enjoy this foundation, so hopefully their new hydrating one will be a better match for a lot more skin types. So obviously this is geared more towards people with dry skin, but I mean, I have combo skin and I feel like a lot of hydrating foundations work really well with my skin. My T-zone is the oil spot on my face, mostly my forehead, but the rest of my face is pretty normal. So I'm excited about this. And I also do have their new Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. So we're gonna be testing both of these out and seeing how they wear throughout the day. So I will also leave my other foundation shades down below if you guys are interested in the description box below. From what I know and from what I've seen, whatever shade you're in the pro filter soft matte foundation you're going to be the exact same shade in their hydrating foundation so i have shade 240 here might be a smidge too dark for me because i literally have no color right now but I'm gonna bronze my chest and we're gonna make it work, so don't worry. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it is helpful. Don't forget to grab a snack, and without further ado, let's go ahead and start testing this foundation out. So let's start off with some foundation claims. Oh, and I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, these two products were sent to me in PR, but this video is not sponsored. I do get their PR, but yeah. They're not paying me to make this video. I just genuinely am really excited about it. So this foundation does come in 50 shades, which is amazing. It's supposed to be hydrating, medium to full coverage for all skin tones. Long wear, light as air, which is like exactly what I look for, honestly, in a foundation. Looking at the packaging, I honestly really like this one more than their soft matte foundation. I mean, the soft matte is really nice. I love the like frosted glass packaging, but for traveling and just like in general for storage, I think their hydrating foundation is a lot more convenient and more practical, so I do love that. I like the squeezy tube and I like how it comes with a pump. Now for their Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. This is supposed to give you instant hydration and a soft silky finish, and it's supposed to extend your makeup application. So it doesn't say anything here as far as filling in your pores. So I am gonna use a pore filling primer just because I do have larger pores on my T-zone, but I will use this on the rest of my face as well. And I'm also gonna be using a primer water because for me that's essential, and I'm gonna use products that obviously I always use and that I love just to this foundation a fair shot. So I'm gonna actually start off with the Catrice Energizing Prime and Care Spray just to give my skin a little boost. I love this before makeup, it feels so good. You can get this at Ulta. And then I am gonna use the Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer right now. And I'm just gonna start massaging this all over my face. Wow, it feels really good. It kind of feels like a gel moisturizer, which I really love gel moisturizers, especially with my skin. So I did one pump for the bottom of my face. I'm gonna do another pump, which is about that much for the forehead. Yeah, this really is not going to fill in your pores or anything. It really just feels like a moisturizer. So something to keep in mind, if you have larger pores like myself, you might have to go in with something different over top, which really isn't a big deal. I always use two primers, to be honest, when I do my makeup, it just works really well for me. So honestly, it feels really good. It absorbs into the skin really quickly as well. It doesn't feel like greasy or anything. It feels good. So then I'm gonna go in with my Catrice Goodbye Pores Prime and Fine Primer, and I'm just gonna be putting this on my T-zone, and I just use a little bit. This is the real deal if you have larger pores is really good. So since this is like Fenty foundation first impression, I am gonna use a sponge that they have. I've used this before, I actually really like it. I can't say that it's like my absolute holy grail, it's not. I really like the Wet n Wild one and the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Those are super dirty right now though, so I'm gonna just whip this one out and just use this today. Let's take these hoops out, they're super annoying. Okay, let's start blending this in. Blends seamlessly, as you can see. It's not overly dewy or hydrating or anything like that. It's definitely very natural on the skin. You can obviously see the difference between my right side and my left side. This side looks really soft, really pretty. The coverage is not like super full coverage. It's not gonna be very heavy duty. It definitely is more of like a natural medium coverage foundation. You can see a little bit of the dewiness picking through, but it's nothing crazy. It's not like greasy. It feels really, really lightweight on the skin. It kind of feels like a BB cream to be honest with you, but I still think it is 
really pretty as you can see. It almost just enhanced my natural skin. It didn't really make it look like I have complete like cake on my face. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't look cakey at all. So I really like that. So let's go ahead and do the other side. In general, I prefer to blend out my foundation with a sponge. I feel like it looks more natural. I mean, it depends, but typically I always use a sponge and I feel like it's quicker, to be honest. So fresh, so pretty. Really, really loving that. I also do have two little beauty marks peeking through as well, so they're not gonna cover any of those up. So if you have like freckles or anything, they're still gonna kind of peek through a little bit, which I think is really, really pretty. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit because I always like to see how foundations build up because depending on the look that I'm doing, if I'm doing something more intense on my eyes, which I know today I'm not, but I like a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna just do a little bit. I did about like half a pump on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna build this up. I know I should have probably did one side with a brush, but I feel like with the sponge, it just blended out so beautifully. Like I said, if you don't have this, you don't need it. The Wet n Wild sponge is very comparable to this one and it's like four or five dollars. So that is with two layers of the foundation on. It does build up really, really beautifully. As you can see, you still have that hydrating look on the skin, which I think is beautiful, especially for every day. It looks really, really fresh, feels natural, and the shade is perfect for me right now. I love it. And this is my shade in their soft matte foundation as well. I am absolutely in love with the way this foundation looks. You can see in natural lighting in my bathroom with no studio lights. It looks so good. It definitely is a very super hydrating dewy foundation. So if you're into matte foundations, you're definitely not going to like this. So just something to keep in mind. I mean, it really is designed for people probably with normal to dry skin, not so much like super oily skin, but I'll, we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Cause like I said, I do have combo skin. So we'll see if like my forehead gets like excessively oily, but the primer and the foundation feel really, really good together. It feels very comfortable, very lightweight, and I'm really loving the way that it looks. And I think the shade is perfect. As you can see in natural lighting, that's like the ultimate test. And I think it looks really, really good. So I am just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do concealer and I'm going to do powder and all that. And then I'll come back. We'll chat a little bit. And then later on, we'll do a check-in and see how everything looks by the end of the day. Okay. So I finished up with the rest of my makeup and I'm really loving the way that the face looks. I think it looks still really dewy, really fresh, but not like overly dewy. I did set my makeup because if I don't, everything's going to just melt off my face throughout the day. So I used my usual collab ultra fine loose setting powder in the shade porcelain ivory. You can find this at Sally's Beauty. It's my favorite. And I did set underneath my eyes and my entire face with this with the same Fenty sponge. I just pressed the powder in all over. And even though I did set my face, you can still see a little bit of the dewiness kind of peeking through in the area. So the foundation is definitely very, very hydrating. It's not matte whatsoever. And I also did set my makeup with my Milani Make It Last setting spray, which is one of my favorites at the drugstore. So right now it is 12.51 p.m. I am pre-filming this video, so you guys will probably see this video maybe next Sunday, which is the 11th. But yeah, I am just gonna go about my day, have quite a few things to get done today. So I will be back in a few hours and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on the foundation. But so far, so good. Hey guys. I'm back and I'm looking very rough. I am in desperate need of a shower. My hair is so greasy, but I wanted to check in with you guys one last time before I got dark because I wanted to show you my skin in natural lighting. So right now it is approximately 7.18 p.m. So I have been wearing this makeup for, for me, pretty much a full day. I tend to wear my makeup for between six to eight hours on a typical day. Obviously, if I have an event or something, I will wear my makeup for longer, but Today has actually been a very long day. I went to the gym, I went grocery shopping, I ran a bunch of errands, and this is what my face is looking like. So honestly, obviously it looks very oily, but I don't feel as oily as what I look. Like I definitely do have a lot of oil peeking through on my T-zone, but I feel like that's a combination of oil, sweat, and also the dewiness of the foundation. I still think though that the foundation looks really pretty. It's still in place, which is crazy considering I did go to the gym. I was trying not to sweat a lot. Like I didn't do too, too much. But I definitely did work out for almost an hour and I did cardio and I did some weights. And with that being said, I still think it looks really good. Like I'm surprised that it's still on my face, the foundation. There is a little bit of blotchiness on the left side of my cheek, but 
mm, nothing crazy. I have not touched up anything on my face. I have not blotted nothing. The only thing that I did before starting this video was just put a little bit of Fenty Gloss Balm on and that's pretty much it. I'm really loving the fact that it's still on my nose. I feel like that's a big test for me with foundations because they tend to fade a lot around my nose and around my mouth. And with this foundation, it's still there. You can see it hasn't really faded and it's still on my forehead. It's still all over my face pretty much. I don't have like any area on my face where I don't notice any foundation on it, which is a plus. So it's definitely very long wearing even through like the heat and through sweating and running around and everything. So I think that's great. So what I'm gonna do is actually touch up just so we can see how it's going to look. I'm gonna use my Palladio rice paper blotting sheets. These are my favorite from Sally's Beauty. And I'm just going to blot and see what this is gonna look like after. I do that. You can see just from blotting the forehead, it, like it instantly just makes it look so much better. And obviously I have a lot of highlighter on it as well, which is gonna make me look a little bit more dewy too. So it's just something to keep in mind. Around my nose, I did notice like lots of oil. You could kind of see the buildup around like the edge right here. Then I'm gonna take my Fenty Universal Invisimat blotting powder. I love this stuff, so good. I'm gonna just use a small little brush just to touch up on my face. If you watch me, you know that I use this all the time. It's my favorite blotting powder. It's usually always in my purse because it's perfect for touch-ups. It doesn't add any coverage or anything. It kind of just makes your skin look really smooth and flawless again. That's it. So touching up really for me isn't a big deal, especially after going to the gym and everything. Like I'm really surprised that the foundation is still like intact, especially like I said, around my nose. That's the area for me that tends to be a problem and that tends to fade very quickly, whether I work out or not with certain foundations. So I'm really, really loving it. I think it still looks really really pretty as you can see even after touching up I am obsessed so I don't know you guys let me know what you think I'm really loving it I know some people are gonna say of course you love it because you love Fenty and it was sent to you but I really do think that this worked out for me really well I'll tell you guys if it didn't obviously I think I honestly like this one more than the matte foundation just because it is a lot more lightweight I feel like it's more comfortable and it just feels better for every single day use like I don't use the soft matte foundation every single day because I feel like it is a little bit heavier and it is so full coverage that it's more of like a going out foundation for me whereas this one I feel like could be for everyday use it's so pretty it's so natural love the medium to buildable coverage I like that little bit of dewiness that it has and I like how it honestly feels like a BB cream so I'm really really loving this I also really do like the primer I love how hydrating it is also the fact that my foundation did last all day could have a lot to do with the fact that I did use this primer as well but I'm gonna test this out without this primer and I'll keep you guys posted but first impression I'm really loving these two together I think these are great so I am giving this foundation an A and I'm gonna give it a double thumbs up I really don't have any complaints or any negative about it to be honest with you I think it worked out really well you guys are my ultimate critics though so let me know what you think let me know if you will be picking this foundation up I think this is definitely perfect for my normal to dry skin people out there if you have oily skin I'm not sure how much you're gonna love that dewiness that's peeking through but if you have dry skin I think you're gonna really love this foundation so that is it for this first impressions review I'm gonna give both of these products a double thumbs up and they both get an A plus in my book so let me know what you guys think are you gonna be trying these out are you gonna get the primer the foundation I would love to hear from you. I hope this was helpful. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in a few days in my next one. Bye!